Hey, it's Neil and Joe from Hornady. We're looking at some new 2020 products. And, and again, this one goes back a couple of years with the advent of the Sub X Bullet and the 300 Blackout Load, but we've decided to expand it a bit. We were in the same meeting talking about new products. It's one of the more you know enjoyable things that we yep. get to do at Hornady is you know dreaming up new things and tossing the ideas around about some other cartridges. And, and some of them were a little unorthodox. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a subsonic 3030. And at first glance, it's like, what, why? But you start thinking about it, all of the hunters that you know hunt out of tree stands or, or close range type things that could benefit from the, the mm -hmm. lower noise signature, the, the more and more guns that are out there looking at some of the Mossbergs, the Marlin Dark Series, and others that are threaded, people have 30 cal cans out there, they would benefit from it. There's other cartridges that would be even more popular and we started to think, yeah, there's something to this. Then we made some and we shot some and you just can't help but laugh when you shoot it. It's, it's, it's awesome, but uh, talk to us more about the details of what we're gonna offer and how you expect them to work. So the, the 3030, just as you said, was a very, the way, the way these things were spawned or born was very interesting. The 3030 is going to have a 175 grain bullet in it. Uh, obviously, it's different than the 30 caliber 190 that we made a couple years ago for the blackout because the 3030 has a longer case. It's a different ogive shape. It's a different bullet. It has to be to fit in there, but it still fits in the tubular magazines. You know, no issues there. It's blunt nose. It expands it, low velocities. And the 3030, when we got actually, we're like 3030. Then we thought about it. Out of lever guns, the barrel lengths, they're consistent. It works pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. um, and you think of just what you said, the guys that are hunting blinds um, in tree rows, chunks you know, of, of timber that aren't yep. very big and they're not, you know, they're, their neighbors hunting a half mile that way. Subsonic just makes sense. Um, we're gonna put it in a uh, 4570 and a 450 Bushmaster as well. Same thing applies. Hunting, you know, in the, the states that require straight wall, you know, it'll, it'll meet those requirements. Um, but again, shorter range, um, expands at the low velocity. Subsonic bullets, uh, we talked about it earlier, but they, you know, subsonic is about that 1100 feet per second. The bullets do not slow down like they do in supersonic. So mm -hmm. your, your effective terminal performance range is three, 400 yards. Further, like you've said, you're gonna hit the dirt before you ever, you know, run out of terminal performance range with these projectiles. Yeah. So one thing to keep in mind, depending on where you live, check your state regulations and so on. Make sure there aren't certain energy requirements and things like that. But if you live somewhere where you, you can uh, legally use these for hunting, it's a, it's a whole different experience. If you don't have a suppressor, these rounds are still the same terminal performance. They are quieter than a supersonic load, but there's still a bit of a crack, and you can explain the science behind sure. that. Um, Anytime we fire any you know, ammunition, the propellant gases have to be moving faster than the bullet to accelerate it, just physics. But on these subsonic loads, because the barrels are you know, 16, 18, 20 inches long, the gases, the pressures are so low and the gases have burned out that when the propellant gases exit the muzzle, they're slow enough or the velocity has slowed down that they don't give you that shock wave and that concussion that you get with supersonic. So it's, it's extremely pleasant to shoot, they're quieter. Um, I have no other way to describe it other than it's just, it's more fun. Yeah, to me it sounds like a maybe a 22 Magnum or something yeah, like that. It's there's exactly a, there's what a pop, it is. but it's not like a, a, a boom. Full, yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're gonna have a 3030, a 450 Bushmaster, and a 4570 to start off with, and I'm sure we'll add more as time allows and we develop new loads.